think all of us on the team have our own ways of creating that space and calm you need to be creative. Because honestly, the bar we're trying to beat with club design is so high. In particular, if you look at patent filings of the last 20 years across various sporting industries, golf is at almost 33,000 patent filings, almost seven times the next sport. Our industry is highly competitive because you have all these people striving for these incremental performance gains. You know, it's not like we're sending people to the moon, but we act like we do. The start of the title of Speed Project is TS. And then it was, okay, we have this improvement, where do you go from there? And that moved to TSI, a driver that was so successful on tour and in the marketplace. I wasn't quite sure where they'd go after TSI. Is TSI really that much better? Focusing on speed, you're focusing on physics. So there's two things you can do. You can design the golf club head to impart more energy to the golf ball, or you can design the golf club head to move faster through the air. We're definitely implementing aerodynamic principles into our driver designs, but it's a little bit of like DIY aerodynamics. We knew just enough to be dangerous, but when we hired Steve, it was like, okay, we've been playing in the shallow end this whole time. These are called line integral convolutions. He's worked in aerospace and is unrelenting in searching for speed. This line right here is where the flow separates. I knew immediately that he was not going to candy coat anything for us. This turbulent boundary layer, instead of separating here... He's very quick to point out things that we think might look cool or might work um, that don't. And in particular, I think it was with regards to industrial design, which is the frosting, you could say, on the cake. It's the cosmetics. He basically held up the sole of a golf club and he was like, see all these indentations? This is a penalty, this is a penalty. And if you really want to get faster, we've got to improve on all these little details. I've always wanted to work on club head aerodynamics because it's very complex. Actually more challenging than uh, aircraft aerodynamics. Golf clubs are bluff bodies. The flow separates instead of staying streamlined. And so the trick is, how can you get the flow to be more smooth and flow continuously around the club head? Oh. And we pick up three-fourths of a mile per hour in club head speed. Yeah. It's very exciting when you can improve the club head speed, the distance, through aerodynamic improvements. We had players saying, I'm good, TSI is my favorite driver ever. And then you show them TSR, and go, wow, I didn't know you guys could keep making this thing better. I thought that we were capped with TSI, but once I got the driver, I became a guy who hits it five to 10 yards farther. Good Lord. I think we're done here. <laughs> I feel like I can hit the low one in the wind. I feel like I can hit the high one to carry a bunker. And I've got that extra 10 over the last five years ago that I didn't have. Over the course of a season, that makes a huge difference. It's been an unbelievable jump that Titles has made in the drivers. The sound it makes is something, you know, it'll kind of make you turn around and see what's going on. We're now at that level where we do make the best drivers in the world. There's no question. And we absolutely are going to make sure it's better every single time. There's Cameron Young. Once again, he's going to play with Cam Smith. They were last out yesterday, second last out today. You know the hours the R&D teams put into it. You want all that hard work to pay off. 187 ball speed. The tour average is right around 170. And to see it at the biggest stage perform in that manner is very exciting. You know, you've got Cam Smith and Cam Young both using TSR. I put the TSR in my bag the week before the British Open. I had a lot of confidence in that driver right off the bat. You know, hitting the 18th tee shot into the center of town, I think it's probably the most people that are played in front of. And I can guarantee you that the fact that I switched drivers was the farthest thing from my mind. 
Here it comes. Can you believe it? It was a dream scenario for Titleist. The guy who wins and the guy who finishes runner-up. It doesn't really get better than that. And the champion golfer of the year is Cameron Smith. <laughs> Just gotta get. Look at these guys. It's so great. Good Serranos. I'm just gonna grab some time here for dinner too. You can talk all you want. At the end of the day, it's your product that needs to do the talking for you. And I do believe with the Title of Speed project that we are walking that talk. There's a lot of confidence in our team to create the best golf club for the player. I'm looking at where we're going over the next five to 10 years, and it's even better. <laughs> we're only 15% of the way there. How do we push it even more to deliver more performance? There's clearly more to be had. Human minds are extremely clever. When challenged, we will find ways to reach our goal. As long as we have this creative mindset, the project is perpetual. I'm not sure how many people realize how hard we work, and it's really to kind of uphold everything that the Titleist brand means. You know, the Titleist Speed Project is one example, just one example of the things we're doing. To this is years of work, and we've really retooled the entire organization to do it. And so to us and to Titleist, thank you guys for everything, for family. So it's turned into much more than a response to some players saying, I'd like a little more speed, into a real purpose. And it's gonna to be tough to catch us.